Anyway, blessings! We got dwarven armor. Oh boy. Kept walking into the spikes. Yeah, she just felt really fast though. Like that's that's why I was confused. Cause the skull also felt ridiculously fast. Let's see, so not Alice. Lotus. Marks an enemy, deals ten damage. For enemies that are marked less than two times, only one damage is dealt. Oh, is it Lotus that that's the the one that we wanna I don't know how to get either of these characters. Let's do criminal silhouette. Let's see, and I haven't leveled up yet. Definitely hard mode. Should... Does the spray not at the beginning in the spikes? Okay. I'm not sure why we were on, like, super hard mode there. Is it because we hit the next act? Could be. Because we still have talk to... Talk with Arsha and defeat and seal Kamenela. Well, I don't, I don't know who those characters are. Okay, uh, let's see. I've got some money, so let's get the ooh options. I could go. Let's go Zvihander and Shane Armor, because we're gonna need the defense. We've also got a revolver. Okay. So already I've got more or less double damage here. See, it wasn't there yesterday. So we want to beat the game once. I don't think I've beat the game once. No, I haven't beat the game once. We got to the uh we got to the foresty area. And uh We got the we got to the foresty area and then died. Was that yesterday? No, that wasn't yesterday. Okay, well, the Dwarven Armor is not exactly my idea of exact necessity. Okay, so I'm probably going to get Evasion whenever we get the chance. And then everything else is kind of secondary. Because purest Evasion on this character, we already do tons of damage. So, you know, crit might be good. This would actually be one of the few characters that attack speed I would go out of my way for, just because no reason why not to. Yeah, it looks like the shield probably scales based off of stats. So if I just don't get hit, we're okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it could be like Isaac, where, like, we've unlocked hard mode. Or they updated the game to make the bosses harder, or maybe it's based on level. Is level 30 the max level? I hope not. I'd suck if level 30 was the max. Because there, I this game is not that easy. And, like, it really feels like it's scaled around the idea of uh, level 100 maximum. might be, though. I hope not. Because that means I'm going to have to try harder. To some degree, it, I mean, like, obviously I want to try harder, but to some degree it's kind of one of those where I like games where, like, you can kind of overgrind a little bit eventually and you just have, like, a... I didn't get a single EXP last run. Oh, no. Because, uh, yeah, what I want to be able to do is actually have max level and multiple stats. And, like, really go nuts with the perks, but if max level is 30, uh Be neat if they redid that kind of thing. Oh, we'll find out. Okay, so we get the Blunderbuss. Blunderbuss is pretty good. I don't know if the uh, Blunderbuss is better or worse than what I got. Okay, Speed Reloader. Available Advanced Reload. Might consider that. Uh, let's let's sell some stuff. Uh, 
Okay, so that's just the regular one. So let's go back up here. I think you, you, when you use firearms, the game scales up. So that the players don't play as the gunslinger. Eh, I mean, that is, that's possible. Okay, so let's get evasion. That's not very good crit. That's not even very good attack speed. What about max health? 16 max health. That's okay. Um, actually, this would be where we get the Bimba Bap, but we can't get the Bimba Bap. Uh, let's see. What can I sell? I could just sell the Blunderbuss. Yeah, let's just sell the Blunderbuss for now. Because honestly, the, the Zweihander is more than enough. Let's see, why sell? The more stuff in your inventory, the better you get. Sort of, uh, it's kind of one of those where I scale. Uh, so there's no reason why, like... There's no reason why I need to pursue the power upgrade immediately. Yeah, it would be nice if maybe once I beat the game, uh, the level limit goes away. Okay, this will be interesting. At least it, I can't hurt myself. Yeah, we'll find out. I mean, the other thing I can do is check the... Uh, I can check the Steam discussions. I don't think I'm going to use the cannon. The cannon seems like a neat idea, uh, but it's impossible to aim without, like, something. Yeah, the, the bazooka seems really cool. I might actually keep it around, because the bazooka would be absurd against, um... To knock, because then I don't have to worry about hitting him. Um, I can just kind of hang out along the edges, the periphery, and just start shooting down. Start getting more attack speed. Maybe. The problem is the attack sp uh, again, like I said earlier, attack speed is not great. And it doesn't work well with this thing. Unless attack speed uh, changes maximum range. It also seems very unreliable. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to focus on that cannon. Because, yeah, I... Don't get me wrong, I love attack speed in games. Normally, normally I prefer to have faster attacking weapons in any situation. But, uh, for this one, for this game, uh, the attack speed is just not as viable as just pure power. Sucks. I personally wish every, uh, every stat had, like, uh... Like, crit, crit percent should be 5%. Crit damage should almost be like a, a 10 or a 15%. Because getting crit damage food is like completely pointless. Getting crit damage food is completely pointless if you just get pure raw damage instead. Okay, level 30 is maximum. Ah. I wonder if it's mod. I wonder if this game is moddable at all, because it'd be interesting if you could actually like. Um... I wonder if you could actually like uh, mod it so that there is no level cap. It'd probably be hard to do. I guess I could ask Durf. I can't imagine this game's particularly unmoddable. All things considered. Like, I'll probably could just keep playing with what I got for now. I mean, I've been doing fine. And I've got to be able to find some, like, pretty good breaker strategies with what I've got. But after I beat the game, eh, I wouldn't mind uh, trying different things. You know what I just realized about the shield? It more or less means trap rooms are of no import to me, because I can just walk past. Hello, Executioner. Uh, sure. It's just slightly fast. 
It's like a slightly faster version of the Zweihander. Works for me. Works really well for me. Now, do we know if this game is still in active development or not? Uh, because it kind of seems like it is. Let's see, so 3% attack speed is not worth it. 5% uh, let's see. No, we want uh, 5.8 evasion. Because what's my evasion at right now? 20%. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of armor that gives me evasion. So that makes it a little bit tougher. But that's okay. Okay, uh, let's see. Where's where's the exit? Exit's down here. Yeah, I get the feeling going pure evasion isn't going to work out well for me. Because if I get about 5.5 .5 per floor, by the time we're done with hell, that's only a... Uh, that's like 40% evasion on top of whatever I've got. Kind of depends. Let's see, can you cheat in 100% evasion? I might be able to. Okay, so he doesn't do too much damage to me now. And yeah, he's most definitely not on, like, super move. Why is Wander's max HP going down? Uh, it's unfortunately because of this character's perk. He is the definition of a glass cannon. And we got the map to the dungeon. Is that a... Uh, well... I guess I'll put it on so we at least know where the uh, food is. And then we better start buying... Um, we should better start buying max HP on food buffs. Like, focus on evasion, but get max HP whenever I can. Because, yeah, what's my defense at? Already negative 50. I can always fix that if I wanted to. But I don't care that much. Now, cowhide armor is... Actually, really good. Because it gives us the movement speed. Okay, you may be pleased to know you can cheat engine your skill points. Looks at 20 in all trees. Hell yeah! Okay, so we'll do that later. I'm not too interested in doing it immediately. 4.5 evasion, 14 health. Uh, let's go evasion. I'll see if I can get the max health if I, if I can. I mean, I could do it kind of whenever. I mean, the one thing we could do is actually kind of put in like a... Uh... A... Alternate leveling system? Kind of like, uh... Every time I... Kill... Maybe every time I beat Hell. That's like an additional uh, stat point for me or something like that. I don't know. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to do that yet for a while. Probably when I start losing steam on stuff. But I think that would be like a reasonable alternate leveling sc scheme. At least until I uh, get further in. Or if I just beat the game, I just say screw it and we just start screwing around a lot. Really depends. Because we've still got Act 1 and 2. Like, supposedly I'm missing like some whole uh, some whole like major plot arc with this game. I'm not entirely sure what it's about, so we'll see. No evasion makes a lot of sense in this character. Yeah, it does. Like, currently we've pretty much got the uh, best conceivable conceivable build I could think of for this guy. Have I unlocked everything already? I don't know, which is part of the reason why I'm not too interested in, like, uh, cheating anything around. Because I haven't unlocked anything, uh, everything, so we don't know. Even with two pieces of armor on, I'm still at negative, uh, ne negative 60 defense. This character is, uh, rough. I hope we get that spear, actually. That spear would be amazing. Is 
has watched that this dungeon has 30 stages and Wander's only achieved stage 5. I've gotten up to stage... I don't actually know. Um, so I don't think I want to switch any of these out. I'm down to 26 health, which is kind of rough. We could probably start using those food buffs, even if they're not as good as some of the other ones. Uh, nope, this is all good. Ah, we haven't gotten... There's two more. Yeah, I got to stage 13. Yeah, uh, did I get to 15? Yeah, I got to I got to the stage past hell. Uh, whatever that is. This is... This is what? Stage 7? So... Hell is stage 12. Yeah. A beating hell is stage 12. Ah, my poor shield. Okay, I'm just going to hang out here for a second. That that freaking shield is saving this run. Honestly. Oh, you know what I want? I want the magical fairy princess wand. If I if I can get that on this run, we become unstoppable. So I uh I do. I mean, 200% bonus damage. On top of everything else. Okay, yeah, let's get the max health. Because that puts me at 37 as opposed to mid-20s, which is scary. Let's see, anything else? Nope. Okay. I wonder if my shields recover here. They do not. Okay. Yeah, they do. Just with enough of a cooldown, my shields will recover in this room. That's helpful. Why is Wander a ninja? I think I'm actually a shadow. I just look like a ninja. Get back here. Yeah, the other reason why I'm not too interested in attack power, uh, attack speed, is my my general desire is to one-shot every enemy, save for bosses. Because I'd rather be able to just uh, take out an enemy in one go before they hit me, than having to hit them twice. If that makes sense. Okay, so... Oh, 3.1 evasion. Okay, I'm not going to prioritize it. That, this time around. Because, yeah, I can just execute those guys. Imagine if I could get 100% crit on this run, too. Oh, we'd be unstoppable. Let's see. We could get the bear dish. Um, I, it's probably not as good. Yeah, it's it's probably not worth getting the the bear dish. Honestly, let's see. My evasion is not high enough. Fourteen max health. No, still not not enough space. The bear dish is too slow. Yeah, it's true. It's mainly just I the extra range would be nice. Christmas tree wouldn't be terrible on this run either. I think your character class is called Criminal Silhouette. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, I... Yep. I think that's actually the first time I've got hit in a very long time on this run. If ever. Have I gotten hit before? At least I know uh, I don't take that much damage. But it is scary. Yeah, those cows have just enough damage to pose a threat to me. There's no reason for me to cross this room ever, from what I can tell. Okay, so we're gonna want probably the maximum health. Ugh, defense is at negative 74%. Well, at least we've got some healing, so I don't have to worry about that. Let's go back to... Let's go back here. Let's go max health. Pea soup. 
And that's the extent of what I can do there. At least I'm at like 48%. It's not terrible. Assassin's Dagger? No. Yeah, the, the one reason why I consider the Bear Dush is, uh, range? I could always use the... Uh, I could always use the Chianja Cannon. You know, Chianja Cannon might not be a terrible idea. Tribute stuff. No! Do you know what this character does? Okay, so the Chiancha Cannon's listed damage is a lie. Okay, so I'm out of shield, so we're kind of in... Where is she? There she is. We're in mild panic mode because I can't afford to take damage here. She escaped. And I'm almost dead. Holy crap! Okay, and we get the Hammer of Tengus. Which I will absolutely throw on because, honestly, armor is not doing me a lick of good. Where's the Hammer? There's the Hammer of Tengus. Can't switch it out. I guess we'll just throw away the Ring of Speed. Take off this, throw on this. Alright, crit rate is 34%. I'll take it. Yeah, I need I need a good ranged weapon at this point. I mean, I guess I could go revolver or hand crossbow. You know, maybe let's try that. I'm probably going to do a fair amount of damage with this. Thought you already had a hammer of Tengus. Not on this run. Though I could I could bring a hammer of Tengus with me. Honestly, of all the items that I'm carrying in my inventory, the hammer of Tengus is probably worth Worth carrying around. It's a shame I can't, like, bank more items at a time. Because if I could, uh, if I could bank multiple hammers of Tengus, we'd be absurd. Like, it'd actually be really nice if, um, if there, if, what was the game? Wasted. Every once in a while you could find, like, an item receptacle. Uh, let's see. Now, we really just want one inventory space at a time. Buy a backpack. See, that would be more useful to me. For this character, at least. Nothing here. Uh, well, no. Hold on. Three thing. I could get the tower shield instead. Getting the tower shield might not be a terrible idea. Yeah. Let's get the tower shield. Because the tower the tower shield over the magic shield is absurd. Hopefully we can find the princess wand on this run. Otherwise we are going to run into problems. Because two free hits works fine on a regular, regular level. Doesn't work so hot on, uh, on one of these. Boop. Yeah, because if I could go Magical Princess Wand here, or like the Combat Shotgun or something. Mm, pr wait, no, that's an Advanced Pistol. What's the difference? Okay. Yeah, that seems worthwhile. I wonder if this will stick around. It will. Okay, cool. So I can leave items on the floor as long as I don't throw it away. 18 max health or 7.1 evasion. I gotta go. I gotta go for the evasion. The max health would be nice. Uh, but if I need more max health, I can always just get rid of stuff. So far, what do I think the top three games are for a person with a low budget? Ooh, that's an interesting question. I 
I don't actually know. Let me think. I'm also really curious how my max max HP is. Like, do I regain it? Or do I even... Wait, can I cycle more power by getting rid of stuff from my inventory? We gotta test that. Okay, so my attack power is currently at 230%. This pistol is ridiculous. Oh, it recalculates whenever you get an item. I getcha. Because for a second there, it looked like I... It might actually just give you the penalty, um... Like, re not regardless. But, like, it looked like you might be able to get some, like, really ridiculous problems going. Or problems? You could get, like, really stupid stats. But, no, you can't. So, would I say Dungrid is a must? I would say Dungrid is pretty cheap. I'm trying to think of other games that are particularly good as far as, like, uh, cost-effectiveness goes. Uh... I mean, if you can look past the, uh, the visual style, Binding of Isaac is probably one of the most cost-effective games on the market, period. Um... Rimwor Rimworld and Factorio can kind of go in there, too. I'm trying to think of roguelikes that take forever and are generally cheap. I mean, honestly, if you're if you're on a budget, just buy Humble Bundles. Uh, they are always worth it. More than anything else. Hollow Knight is pretty good. Like, there's a difference between, like, must-have games or and must-have games on a budget. And so, like, there's a lot of, like, really cheap, good indie games that I can recommend. But at the same time, if you're, like, actually on a budget, just get Humble Bundle. You'll... You might not always get exactly what you want, but the quality is generally undeniable. Let's see, Rogue Legacy. Yeah, see, that's part of the... Uh, part of it is also, you probably want to get games that are older. I've seen Rogue Legacy sell for, I want to say... Uh, I, I want to say I've seen Rogue Legacy sold for, ah, uh, uh, I, I've seen Rogue Legacy sell for, for like peanuts. Uh, you know, people, people have, people, uh, the developers sell it for like two and a half dollars. Uh, and that's like, that is ridiculously good deals wise. And generally just like, if you are on a bu budget, get a whole bunch of really dirt cheap games uh, during the Steam Summer Sale, and then just wait and be patient. Uh, there's a whole there's a whole subreddit actually dedicated to this called Patient Gamers, I believe, um, who are all uh, more or less uh, waiting for games to get cheaper. Uh, twenty one max health is absolutely worth. Let's let's go for the twenty one max health first. It's a whole bunch of little guys. I'm liking the pistol though. The advan the advanced pistol is pretty good. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we want the 21 max health. Puts me at 66. So I can have uh, I can avoid at least a couple of hits. Wait. What? If you have the dungeon map, you can just warp to any door in the dungeon. Oh, that's kind of ridiculous. I like that. Okay, I have no more shield. Bonsai! Ow! Ugh. There's no bonsai, only regret. Ow! That's why you get the map. Map is really good. Like, I thought it just guided me, but no, I can just warp straight there. And there's nothing here. I feel like there should be, like, secret stuff. I do have the t tower shield. You are correct about that. Um, I should have used the tower shield. Uh, 
Okay, there's bats over there. Somehow I can't hit this snake. Ah, I was wondering where all that fire came from. Yeah, the main reason why I don't generally use the shield, even though I should, uh, is because it prevents me from attacking. So, like, if I'm bonsaiing enemies, it doesn't actually just uh, guarantee that I'm even going to be able to get up and hit them at the correct time. I wish the shield just made me invulnerable. But it's a little bit more uh, sort of complex than that. Oh, good. Luckily, it's just dumping health on me, like nobody's business. I'm really liking this pistol. It's, uh, really boring. But it also just makes this into a uh, trivial town. Okay, do we have another evasion buff? We might. 32%. 5.5%. Oh, nope. Not enough space. Uh, looks like we'll have enough. The fact that I can do this is great. And not quite ready to go. There's a snake! Snarky. Is that just another Zweihander? It looks like it's just another Zweihander. Alright, uh, let's go sacrifice an item or two. Just tribute up the crap. We do have the bloodstone necklace, but it's not really that helpful for me. Uh, let's see. He's down here. It'll, I'll take a slight power hit for it, but I'll have uh, higher maximum maximum damage. Okay, so 5.4 evasion. Yeah, it's worth 100%. Okay, eighth floor going down to ninth. Yeah, I'm not ready for this. I'm probably going to die. It's tempting to grab the Chianja Cannon. But I don't think the Chianja Cannon is going to help me that much. Wait until you get Magnum. I can see the Magnum being fun. Oh, I should have reloaded. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah, my main goal here is to not take damage. Oh, took damage from his stupid shockwaves anyway. Uh-oh, stunned. That's real bad. There we go, got him. Oh, right before I died. Oh, I got lucky. But then again, when don't I get lucky? I really wish there was no level cap in this game. It'd be so much more fun if there wasn't one. I, I actually got really mad when I found out that there was a level cap in, uh, in, uh... I got really mad when I found out there was a level cap in Rogue Legacy. I didn't feel like there was one. I still have my shield ability. I do, but it does... So, here's the thing about the shield ab ability that I think people are missing. It shields me, yes, but it doesn't actually, uh... It it shields me from harm, but it also makes it so I can't attack back. So it's it's not like it, I just get three seconds of free invincibility. It's three seconds of invincibility where I am incapable of uh, returning fire. Damage one to one. I'm curious about that. I wonder if there's an attack shield or something like that. Let's see, but it prevents you from maxing all stats. For strategic thinking. See, like, I get that, but I almost kind of wish that the game was designed around the, the idea of having no specific cap. And you just pace the levels out harder. Uh, or more, or stuff like that. Like, you know, if, if it takes forever to level, you're still going to have to pace it out. Uh, just make it, like, much harder to level past level 30. Because I think that would be much, uh, like, a much better way of handling it. 
in my opinion, than just like totally getting rid of the level cap. And then if you wanna if you wanna limit it down, you totally can. I don't know. That's my perspective on stuff. It very clearly is no expert opinion at all. It's just observations. Okay. So let's get my evasion up to at least 50%. 6.4. Nope, still not enough. Ah. So nice being able to just warp to level uh to rooms I've never been in before. Oh, uh, let's see. Where's the starting equipment that I was given? Cuz I could get rid of that stuff. Wish I could get rid of the short sword, honestly. Consequences be damned. I'm trying to think of games that had really fun level leveling systems that like I was disappointed by them having a cap. I mean most games with leveling systems. I unless of course that you like unless of course you run out of content well before uh before you hit the leveling cap. But like I maybe part of the reason why I'm so like fixated on this is because um uh I'm not done with the game yet and I probably won't be done with the game yet for uh, some time at least. And so like the idea of having a level cap uh, when I've still got, you know, hours to go, it's like, eh. Like I feel like you baseline any game with a level cap in it should only let you hit said level cap uh, after, after you've beaten the game. And like you really have to go out of your way to hit the level cap. Hitting it, uh, you know, when you're say at the halfway point or the three quarters mark, it's like, well, I guess. Now I just have less to look out for. That's part of the reason why I was kind of surprised with this game, that uh, you could unlock so many of the town buildings so fast. It's like, oh, okay, well that's, I was like, I was really expecting more. And there are certain games like, uh, well, I guess Full, Full Metal Furies, I, I almost want to say did it perfectly. I don't know how many of you guys uh, bothered to watch my series on that one. It was a fun game. Um, but after you hit, like, a, a certain point in the game, it's just like, oh, by the way, we've removed your, uh, we, not removed, but we've, uh, drastically increased your, your level cap. Have fun! And, like, that was such a good feeling, because it's like, hey, yeah, here's some more stuff that I can do if I wanted to. So it leveled you up fast. They could have pasted out some. Maybe? I didn't feel like the, the talent tree was uh, interesting enough to really pace it out more. If anything, I would actually prefer it if uh, if there were less, if there were more talents, but they were weaker, like significantly uh, significantly weaker. And you had to, uh, you had to kind of mix and match them. Oh, he can send them down from there. Like, uh, for example, instead of like a 20% gold gain boost uh, from like the first tier of greed, Every five levels of greed, you get another, like, you get another, uh, uh, gold gain boost or something like that, comboed with, like, maybe another bonus effect. And so it's a lot more mix and match than, like, here's three perks for each thing. Also, if you want those stats, you're gonna have to sack a bunch of stuff, and it's like, mm. See, Monsters, uh, uh, Monster Slayers was really good. I actually really have to try Monster Slayers. Uh, if we have time for it tonight, I might give it a go. I'm just a busy dude. Uh, let's see, what do we do? Do we have anything left? Not really. Down we go. I, I'm kicking ass with this pistol. I was still hoping for the fairy wand for the aiming though. Okay, so let's go to food. I don't think I can, no. We've still gotta clear a couple of rooms first. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to play Monster Slayers. I'm just so busy. Okay, Colt. Nope, none of these are any good.
No! Come on! I had it! Ugh. See, when I go into boss floors, I should switch up my map. Yeah, I should probably find a, a better accessory for it. I guess actually getting the speed reloader might not be a bad idea. I'll see what accessories we can find. Unfortunately, I haven't found that many good alternate accessories to work with. But yeah, unfortunately, for every roguelike I play, there's like two more that I miss. And that was this game, almost. I keep trying to shoot my own uh, shield fairy. Throws me off like nobody's business. Okay, let's try not to take too much damage here. I don't know when the middle one shoots or not. Anyway, my HP is fine. I haven't taken damage. Actually, I can probably go get this. Food shop. Evasion. Where's my evasion at? Solid 50%. I was hoping it would be a little bit more than that. But that's fine. Yeah, we do all, always have, like, the charm of madness for a little bit of extra power. Eh. I don't know. We'll think. We'll think on it. I don't know. I, I guess one of the reasons why I like I like to fixate on the ideas of like the idea of like extremely long term uh like progression systems in games is I like the idea of not a game that I play like super perpetually, because you know that would be ridiculous. Uh but like I the idea of a game that I play for like an extended period of time, um like, well after you'd normally, like, beat it, but there's still, like, level ups to do and stuff like that. But rarely will I ever play a game that actually has anything that, like, scales that far. Um, and so, like, it would be really rad to have a game like this that just gets harder and harder or something like that. Uh, but also, uh... But also has, like, a, a skill tree to deal with it and, like, you know, better unlocking weapons. Like... I don't know, I think it would be really cool if you could actually upgrade each weapon individually or something like that. Um, so, like, say I find this cult and I'm like, holy shit, I like cults. Cults, I go to the altar, tribute, and instead of just having this tribute bar here, it's... I put up the first weapon and then I fuse everything else into it. And then I just uh, get to carry it over. Gazuntite Shell. Let's see, Wonder if you tried Neo? It has uh, silly scaling. I played a little bit of Neo, mainly because I was going to play co-op with Keith. Uh, but then it turned out to not have co-op. You had to beat the game first, more or less, to actually get the co-op. And it's just like, oh, this sucks. You know, I don't really want to do that. And then they, um... Then they unlocked it recently. So what I'm actually probably going to do... Uh... So what I'm probably going to do for Neo is actually go back to it at some point once Bird, Durf, and I have finished uh, Durf Souls. Because uh, I'd actually really like to, to carry Durf Souls over into uh, Neo, because it'd be fun. Could the Spring Shoes get you up to that chest? Unfortunately, no. Uh, I, I lack the platforms for it now. Let's see. I don't think there's any kind of anything that I can use. Oh, you know what? i got to clear some inventory space. The altar is really cool. More, uh, better than you think. No, the, I know exactly what the altar does. And it's not terrible, but it's also not that amazing. Okay, so let's switch the map out for... Reload speed or crit? Probably reload speed. Okay, so I'm probably in trouble. This guy usually sucks, but I do do a ton of damage. If you max it out, you can get a legendary weapon to start. I'm aware. Ow. Ooh. He already just chewed through my shield.
Keep that up. Okay, now we're in trouble. I didn't realize that I'm at 1 HP. That's a problem. And I'm dead. Damn it. Get the crit food if you had space. I was hoping I I was hoping I'd have uh, more space than that. Okay, so what do we have? I could bring dwarven armor with me, or the hammer of Tengus. The map is nice, but it's not that important. Executioner is not that amazing. Otherwise, we could get the shield that protects the explorer, but she's she's good, but she's not actually that good. Like, what I need is stuff that helps me against bosses, not not um enemies generally and the create a shield that protects the explorer is only good out in like regular regular levels against bosses themselves uh she's kind of bad i want to say the hammer of tengus is pretty good get the pistol now nah, the advanced the advanced pistols I, we just used it i don't want to carry over weapons unless i have something else it's really tempting to go hammer of tengus yeah let's go hammer of tengus Especially if I could get multiple hammers of Tengus. Oh boy. And yes, I'm aware he's still trying to kill me in the background. Okay, so I, I had my fun with this character, but uh, he's still a bit too flimsy for me. King of Pickaxes would be hilarious, but every time you, whenever you use the dash attack, you also take five damage. Uh. Rider H. Power based on movement speed. Slow. F I mean, Rider H is kind of an interesting idea. But does he have, like, wheel legs? He might. See, Alice being farsighted could be kind of cool. I'd like to try the Lotus with the uh, Christmas tree, but we haven't seen the Christmas tree. Uh, honestly, let's just go back with this. Oh, thank you for the sub. Uh, Epsilon. Okay, so we've got the, uh, we've got the Hammer of Tengus. I'm probably just going to bring it with us. And the main reason why I like the Hammer of Tengus is that's just a flat 22% crit increase. You don't get that normally, like, anywhere. Oh, Slingshot. Goody. Does he only give us revolvers? He might only give us revolvers. I mean, to be fair, the revolver is substantially better than the, um... Slingshot actually does a decent amount of damage. I don't believe that attack speed for a second. Yeah, I, I feel like the attack speed on this is uh, a lie. Damage is pretty good, though. Oh, you can destroy all projectiles, but some have a high damage intake before disappearing. That's actually kind of interesting to know. Okay, uh, let's go back to... Let's go back to this guy. Boutique. Yeah, the problem with Alice is plus 20 power, kind of nice. The 30% max health reduction. All of this only for a plus 20, plus 20 power? It's not really worth it. I think you can cheese it with attack speed. The base attack is really good. Yeah. It is pretty good. I don't know. I think I might just go for another uh, beefy run. Uh, high defense. It, it seemed like evasion was really good. Um... I mean, we could go high crit. Keep going crit and power, because that worked pretty well. Get above enemies and just spam slingshot. Well, so the thing is, uh, you don't really want to plan. Um, you don't really want to plan for the levels. Uh, the bosses are the things that stop me, and that's that's the biggest issue. Because I can get through almost any level without taking too much damage. Uh, but if I get to a, if I get really the the lava boss, getting to him more or less just means death for me. 
And so, like, I have to plan around beating him more than anything else. Evasion is really good until you get hit. Yeah, that's kind of why I prefer to bet on defense, because I know I can max defense with, like, armor pickups and stuff. So I'll probably focus defense, defense and crit. If we're lucky, we can find another Hammer of Tengus on the run and just, like, really destroy. That'd be cool. Or someday I could see if I can go double Dwarven Armor or something. That'd be cool, too. 